really lucky. How I got my internship, I didn't lift a finger, I didn't do anything. All I did was send one resume out. And I got my internship. No interviews, no nothing. And I was very lucky because I got into an investment bank. Not easy. And I'm very lucky. So, obviously I need to prepare for it and in my mind, I just want to work there as long as I can to grab the opportunity. But that's one thing, it's one thing to grab what's in front of you and the, another thing is to be really bad at planning. So, I planned my internship according to what I thought was one week after my last paper and before school started based on 2014 calendar so basically one day after my grants ended I went to work and I end work after school started so the first thing I learned from my internship plan properly look at the right calendar the right year especially. <laughs> well then, it's a long period. At first I was excited. Then I got scared. I was terrified of going to the working world. I was terrified of doing OT. I was terrified of giving up my social life. I was terrified of not being able to go out with my friends. And I was terrified I wasn't able to attend our meetings. But it turns out, I'm very free. Very, very, very free. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like I'm not so free, now, but still very free. I never worked OT, and most of the time I was reading PDFs. Then, Everybody started asking, when I went there, everybody started asking me, what do you want to do after you graduate? I gave different people different answers. And that scared me. Because clearly I didn't know what I want, or I wanted too much. Then, my CEO asked me, what do you want to do when you graduate? I was done because I didn't want to give a vague answer neither did I, did I want to give answer which is not from my heart and that's saying something really stupid so guys second lesson really rehearse what you want to say after you graduate what do you want to do simple question but I didn't know what, what I really wanted and frankly I wanted to work and this company, but I wasn't willing to put in the effort, and I didn't want to say that. So along the course of my internship, I went to a lot of meetings, and I met a lot of powerful people, if you may say so, like CEOs of other companies and things like that. So I went and got there. Hi, I'm Serene. And I'll be like, I'm the intern here. So he asked me, where are you from? I looked at him and I was like, here, I work here. And he laughed and he said, no, I mean, which school are you from? I'm like, oh my God. How dumb can I be? Oh my God. Right, like, where are you from? Obviously she's asking for your school. Obviously he knows you're interning here. <laughs> so, third lesson, always drink coffee in the morning. <laughs> always! Well, as I mentioned, I was very free. So I read a lot. Then, I wanted to do more. Really, sincerely. I wanted to do more. But I didn't 
know how to go up to my boss and say, I wanted more work and I'm too free. Because, hi Alice, do you have anything for me? I can't go to her every single hour and do that, right? And apparently going to your boss and say, Hey Alice, I'm very free, do you have anything for me to do? Doesn't work so. So I asked my brother, and he told me, 